Hey Rebel Scum, how's it going? I am Nick, I am not Bobby. Here to give you a little break today from the Bobby Show. Just kidding, of course. We all love Bobby here. We have fun, we joke around from time to time. Uh, if you're like me, and you like vintage, and you like things retro, then you're probably a big fan of Gentle Giant's Jumbo Collection. Uh, as you can tell, I am. Uh, so in addition this year to the original 99 that they've been doing, they've broken apart and started going into uh, you know, some other mediums like TV. So we get The Mandalorian. Uh, we got something from the world of Tarkin uh, this year. We're going to see uh, Phantom Menace, Darth Maul later on. But something that I thought was pretty unique that they've done has been things from the Ralph McQuarrie concepts. And so far we get a Darth Vader. But today I'm going to give you a look at the Luke Skywalker. So like all gentle giant jumbos, Luke comes here on his resealable clamshell. You have that Kenner style card back with a picture of the character from the medium. In this case, it was a, a drawing rather than a, a film. Um, the clamshells are great, but you really need a whole lot of space if you want to display these, if you have a lot of these figures. Uh, me, as, as you saw earlier, I just put them up on the shelf, take up way less room. You could put a lot more in them. But if you opt to keep the clamshells, you could always put the figure back in after you're done displaying it, which is a really nice feature with these resealable clamshells. Of course, on the back, we have the artwork of Luke versus Vader in the hallway. Great classic Macquarie scene. We're all very familiar with that. Um, now you could recreate it now that we have both Luke and Vader. But let's take a closer look at this figure that has a lot of great detail on it. So here we go. We have Luke here in his package. Let's open it up and check it out. These are really easy to open. It's just some tape around the edges that you could cut and then pop open the clamshell. So if you want to keep it and reseal it after you use the figure, that you could do that. Very easy, simple to reseal it and give that on the card look again. Uh, like I said, this takes up a lot of wall space. So for me, I'm not big on keeping the clamshells, but I do love to keep the card backs because they got some great artwork on the back and on the front, along with that nice little bubble that uh, where they keep the figure and the little pillow with the name on it. So we'll be keeping the card. Um, he's just here in his little package, very easy to open. Uh, one thing I like to do when opening these is use a pair of sprue cutters. If you ever put a model together, you know what these are. They're kind of little tweezer-like scissors. Uh, it's easy to cut the little tabs without damaging the um, accessories or the figure, uh, particularly if you have to like pull those little stretchy tabs. So uh, I already went ahead and did that. Um, so he comes here with his white lightsaber. This is a uh, all new mold. They haven't made this in the Jumbo series before. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, glad that he came with a freestanding lightsaber versus the um, extendable lightsaber in the arm because he's based more on the Empire Strikes Back artwork, which if you think about Bespin Luke in the Kenner collection, he came with that yellow lightsaber uh, that was not in his arm. So it's cool they kind of kept with that theme. Uh, he also comes here with a blaster. Um, this one is taped on. So in the collecting community for Kenner, this is commonly referred to as the Palace Blaster. Uh, this got a nice close up when uh, Luke used his force pull to take a shot at Jabba with it. Um, oddly enough, other than Jedi uh, Knight Luke in the Kenner collection, I don't think any of the other Palace figures actually come with this gun. It comes with uh, Luke Endor, it comes with Lando General. Um, I think that might be it. But uh, it's not the only character it's really synonymous with is Jedi Knight Luke, but it was first shown off um, in Jabba's palace, so it's just known as the Palace Blaster. Um, we have Luke here in his little package. Uh, just through the magic of editing, I'm just going to open this guy. So this guy's got some really sharp colors on him. I like that. It really makes him stand out. Um, got a lot of detail on this Jumbo, more than I see in a lot of Jumbos. You can see the backpack here. That's really great. Uh, most of this looks like a new mold. Um, the pants might be shared from the Han Carbonite, but everything else here looks looks pretty new. He's got the new chest piece, the backpack, the face piece. Uh, one thing you notice is the translucent goggles on Luke, uh, which was a really nice touch. They could have just as easily went with painted eyes, and uh, they decided to go with a, food, a full translucent piece which they haven't really done on a figure um, since, I guess, Han Carbonite, but uh, 2-1-B. 
Um, I remember at the time, Gentle Giant said they would never do that again because of the cost. But I guess since this is such a small piece, it's easier to just do a little translucent look. I really think it makes the figure pop out, though, when you have that. But it's just the painted eye. Um, gives it a little depth to it. Um, so it's a really cool feature. Uh, thing about vintage figures is it's always hard to get them to hold weapons, but that's not the case with Luke. Surprisingly, he holds the lightsaber easy. It's not going to jiggle out of the hand. Um, let's go for broke and test the palace blaster. A little trickier, but yep, there he goes. He's got it fully armed. Um, holding these with ease. Not much articulation on them, just like the originals. Um, see if the, the head's not going to turn because it's got these tubes protruding from the side, so we can't really get any articulation there. So just the, uh, there goes the blaster, just the arms and the legs, which is kind of typical with the, the Kenner figures and with the Jumbo figures. So not much of a surprise there in terms of that, but altogether he's looking pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, there's a little belt holster here. I don't know if this is for the saber or not. It's not going to stick in there, but maybe if it was, uh, uh, if the saber was uh, not ignited, it would fit in there or something like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Little detail as well. So a little closer look at Luke. You could see those translucent eyes I was telling you about. They really stand out. I think that's sort of what really makes this figure is having those translucent eyepiece vice the painted eyes. A uh, lot of great detail on this figure, though, overall. He's coming really close in to the concept image that we're all familiar with. Love that touch on that backpack. Uh, I don't think we ever got to really see what Luke looks like from behind from the concept series, and maybe there's a sketch out there. But either way, I think that's pretty cool that they tied the tubes into some kind of device. Um, altogether, looking really sharp. Really glad they made this one. He's going to look great next to Vader. So there you have it. Great figure, love the design, a lot going on here. I'm really glad they made it. Um, if you paid attention to the back of the pad earlier, maybe you noticed there's some more coming at some point. Maybe we'll hear something more next month. I don't know, we'll find out. But I'm glad they're continuing the series because it's just a really great look and it's great to have these uh, in this scale. And uh, yeah, he's gonna pair really well on your shelf with uh, the concept of Darth Vader here. So I'll leave you with that. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my unique take on Star Wars Jumbos. We'll be, uh, I'll be bringing you more videos in the future. And in the meantime, uh, like, subscribe, and follow for additional Star Wars content. And I'll see you next time, you rebel scum.